subscribe and ring the bell to never miss an update. Hello everyone. It's great to be back at the Houston Glass Show in Sale. Today on Lady Mary Vav, I'm taking you along for the glass event of the year. Dealers from across the nation are bringing their rarest and best glass from 1890 to 1980. Come along for treasures. I'm like a kid in a candy store. There's so much beauty in glass, and it has evolved over time with world events, trends, and even the space age. And you will see many changes over the decades with the glass manufacturers. I'm highlighting several areas today. Mid-century, a showpiece, everyday and entertaining, party perfect, rare and unusual, it's preview night and you know what they say about the early birds. These customers are eager to find the rarest and best. And the show is actually hosted twice yearly. Max Miller is the show sponsor for February and in August it is also held. There's Max right there welcoming his guests. And it's always a delight to come to the glass show here at the Fort Bend County Fairgrounds and to meet with the dealers. I learn so much from them and just really enjoy each and every piece of beautiful glass. And there's lots we're going to learn today. I can't wait to share with you. Max has a rare item in one of our favorite patterns. This is Fustoria American pattern, and the item is a crushed fruit jar. It was made around 1925, and the price range is around 1500 to 2000. There was originally a spoon that tucked right inside that, and it was used for serving and another item in a familiar pattern. This is um, from Imperial's uh, Candlewick line. It's the double hurricane lamp with the two correct shades with straight tops. And it's a very sought after piece for collectors of Candlewick crystal, ranging in price around 800 to $1,000. Gorgeous piece. Mm -hmm. Max Miller has an antique shop in Houston located at the Marketplace on Katy Freeway and they're open Friday through Sunday. Lots of treasures. He specializes in American glassware from 1850 to 1970 with all of our favorites. Lots to discover today and a whole lot to learn from the dealers. And I can't wait to share all of this with you and even lighting wear. Just incredible pieces. And if you're wanting to add something interesting to your home, of course it could be party perfect like this picture, or even for a guest bedroom, a bedside carafe, $129. And this is quite a common item that you would see. I have a Waterford Crystal bedside carafe with the built-in cup, of course. This rose bowl is interesting, $185. And you'll notice the flower frog can actually stand on its own. It is triple footed. And the combination of the pink and green is often referred to as watermelon glass. It is quite special. I have some sherbet glasses that I feature for chocolate mousse and on a white plate, it's quite lovely. And that pitcher with a lid, I would say is more a rare item, hard to find. And it definitely adds some interest to your home. It's not the typical item that you would find at a local decor store. Here you've got a bit of history and elegance. And keep in mind, this makes a great gift as well. And there's some very affordable things here too at the glass show. And this particular glass is $65. You can find small dishes anywhere from $10 and up. There's that beautiful statuesque from Cambridge. This is a cigarette holder, quite rare, $750. I just had to show you that. And cruets, lots of cruet sets. And you'll notice all of the beautiful, bold colors and our favorite depression glass. I'm partial to the pink and green. I have mixed these over the years for different parties. 
course one color can stand alone and they blend well with so many different shades. And I'm seeing some great gift ideas here too. Wouldn't that add interest to your table? Even just some plain white dishes or creamware that we've recently talked about on the channel. Depression Glass makes a great gift. $28 for this Florentine covered sugar bowl matching creamer. You can even add it to your gift closet so that you have something close at hand. For a birthday gift, Christmas, anytime. And green goes with most every look. So think about that when you are at your local class show or you're out thrifting. And within Depression Glass, there are so many different patterns and makers. And that's what makes it interesting. And I like to mix different styles, even shape plates. And you'll see anything from Old Colony, very affordable, $12 a bowl. And then they've got that wonderful waffle pattern as well. This berry bowl is sweet for $12. You could even gift one bowl to a friend, fill it with some chocolate truffles. And the Adam lunch plate, $10 each. I'm liking this square shape, even though I'm not a fan of square dinner plates, that adds a lot of interest. $10 each and 25 for the divided dinner plates. Miss America, this pattern was made in clear as well. And this is the grill plate. Mayfair divided celery. This must be rare, it's $240. That's beautiful. I like how they've divided that. Adds a bit of interest. It's not straight across as you would expect. And these tumblers, those are fantastic. And I put mine in the dishwasher. Easy care. Many of us collect depression glass. Did you realize that many of these pieces are actually considered premiums, meaning you'd buy a box of soap, oatmeal, perhaps you buy a ticket to the movies and you get a glass. And then, of course, you want to add to your collection, so you go to your local Five and Dime and you added the entire set. And this is how Depression Glass became popular. And this, even though it's for an ice beverage, would be perfect for an ice cream party. You could use this for serving or even for a malt. And it's the Mayfair pattern, $40 a stem. Some showstoppers here. Lots to discover in this booth. And I'm just amazed at the quality of glass that we find. Some is quite rare with interesting history of the factories. The dealers are quite knowledgeable, so you can certainly ask questions and you get lots of answers. Val Saint Lambert, cut to clear. Isn't that a fantastic set? Just gorgeous. Let's take a closer look. $1,950 and they are signed with the Val Saint Lambert logo. And I will put some dealer information in the video description in case you want to reach out to some of these experts, maybe acquire some of their wares. Look at the base of that stem. Such detail, you just don't see that anymore in tabletop. Some more cobalt cut to clear. Just amazing collections. And it is one-stop shopping. 425 for the pair of cobalt cut to clear hawk wines. And you could certainly outfit your home and table here with some interesting objects. And you certainly cannot go to a retail store and find anything that can touch this quality and history. And we will also take a look at mid-century glass. This is something I personally have overlooked over the years. It's nothing that I really liked when I was growing up in the 1970s and 80s, but actually I'm finding it quite interesting with the bold colors and it is quite popular now with anything mid-century modern. The only piece of Waterford crystal that I found here today, that is a great lamp, 175. And you know that's an excellent price. A tabletop essential in one of our favorite classic colors. These are Fostoria's Queen Anne line from 1925, and they're the, a very lovely 14-inch um, candlestick. And that color um, was made for just about a year. Yes, right? only about a year, right? And it's a, a wonderful, highly sought-after color. They did a compote to go with it, so it was a centerpiece. Truly a showstopper. Wouldn't these candle holders be the bell of the ball on a dinner table?
Just love those. Wish I could have taken these home. And each dealer comes from usually far, far away. States like Pennsylvania, Ohio, West Virginia, where there's also a glass museum. And some specialize in certain areas. I just love the Cambridge glass. And of course, you probably have heard of Cambridge Rose Point, their most popular pattern. That's a sweet dish, would make a great gift. And at $34, that is a steal. 125 for this console bowl. And the neat thing about a popular pattern such as Rose Point is they would have made more pieces in this particular design. Whereas maybe in the Navarre pattern from Fostoria, you wouldn't find as much. A punch bowl. This is my birthstone, Ruby. Wouldn't that be amazing for a party? And red goes with every season. This is made by the Cambridge Glass Company. It is Wild Rose, $850 for the set. Stunning. This is quite special. I wish that I had a spot for this. Just great centerpiece bowl as well. It doesn't have to just be used for punch. You could display something amazing. And if you remember the Tennessee Glass Show, Larry Duke has introduced us to so many ways in which you can use your punch sets. Some more use of color here with elegant glass. And I'm quite anxious to share some of these finds with you today. You just won't believe it. I know many of us on the Lady Mary Beth's table page, that's our group on Facebook. I welcome you to join that. We have some draped ladies and some of you have shared with us recent finds and table settings where you featured this lovely lady. At first glance, this seems like a draped lady, but it's actually a boy and his goat, often referred to as two kids. And this is a piece you don't see as often because it was discontinued at some point and the Cambridge Glass Company scrapped the molds because they were made of iron and this was used for the war effort. And later when the company closed in 1958, this mold was not available to be sold off to another company. It is $420 for the two kids. I enjoy learning something new. Just when I thought the drape lady was it, there's so much more to discover. And especially when you realize the history and how factories evolved over time. That green and pink, so special. And featured in the Fostoria June console bowl for $75. And she would also be Belle of the Ball. Many of you are familiar with the draped lady made by the Cambridge Glass Company. And she can easily be placed in a console bowl. You can fill her with fresh flowers or even silks. And this is a larger version of a bashful Charlotte. Lacking some detail here. $195, a fantastic piece. And I'm just amazed at the larger sizes that we're seeing today. This one here, it's almost like winning an Oscar. Look at the size of this draped lady. These jewel tone compotes or comports are absolutely incredible. Such art went into making these with the designers, manufacturers, and you could even set something maybe not too heavy there to create a lovely floral display, perhaps on florist foam. And this comport is $125. Stunning. Could definitely change the scope of that with florals. This is quite an extensive collection of the statuesques. Just amazing. And I will put this dealer's information in the video description and you can feel free to reach out to them if you'd like to make a purchase. They have vast collections. Cambridge was a bit avant-garde with their pattern called statuesque. There were three different size stems and nine different size glasses. So the bowl would have been in nine different sizes and different colors available. They even made candlestick. Look at this candle holder. Absolutely incredible. And it's rather rare, $450 for the pair. The yellow is quite lovely. And I can imagine this with the addition of maybe some cobalt glass or blue rim china. Would also work well for many seasons, $180 for the claret. 
And you can certainly reach out to Linda and David with Our House Antiques. I'll put them in the video description as well. Got great things for sale. Love all these colors. And the Art Deco Candelabras. I recognize these. This was in my collection many years ago. I added, I was probably still in my 30s, and I was always looking for beautiful vintage glass from Heise, $89 for the pier. And I know that some of you have this same set that you have shared on our Lady Mary Beth's table page. And our favorite Fostoria American pattern. Lots of choices here. And you could certainly use just serveware or perhaps dessert plates to add to your china pattern. $22.50 for the dinner plate. Different size pitchers. This is something that I started acquiring probably in the last 10 years. And I certainly enjoy the sugar and creamer every morning with tea time. $17.50 for the set. And I believe the tray is priced separately. And that's $16.50. And the pitcher at $56.50 is certainly nicer than something you get at your local box store. And pitchers can be used in many different ways, not just beverages. Might want to take a look at my pitcher perfect episode. Love all the mid-century glass. There's really something for everyone here, including mid-century modern tumblers. That's great for barware or ice beverages. $150 for a set of eight. Culver is another popular manufacturer of that time. and a cake stand, one of our favorites. Tell us all about it, Max. Uh, this pattern was the Texas line. It was assigned that name by U.S. Glass Company around 1900, and uh, there were many items produced in the Texas line. Three sizes of cake stands were made, in addition to covered compotes and water pitchers, and there are I would estimate 40 or 40 plus items produced in this design. Just love to find something new, especially related to Texas. Thank you, Max. Mm -hmm. Lady Bird Johnson, our first lady, had this Texas pattern in her personal collection. Imagine this at the White House. It is quite special. Now I need to add one to my collection. Lovely punch bowl. And these hooks were quite popular even mid-century for the punch cups. And that saves you a lot of space. And I like that they've added a touch of red. That ruby really pops against the clear. Made by Westmoreland. $165 for the set. And of course, there's a punch bowl in Fostoria. They made this in many different patterns. And this is more of a footed bowl, but you could use it for punch, eggnog, the candle holders are lovely. I picked up some recently for my friend for a Christmas gift. And the amethyst, just love it. The emerald ruby cobalt. Wouldn't that dress up a table? Maybe I will start looking for these. $89 each for the cobalt, $19 each for the amethyst. I think I would start with that purple hue to add some interest to a table. The bell-shaped candlesticks, quite lovely. We'll talk more about this pattern. The classic Fostoria American pattern was made for 75 years. And when you think about that, that could be three generations of bridal selection and passing it down. And just love that there were about 415 individual pieces made in the American pattern. In the 1930s, they introduced the colored stems. It was made through the 1940s with that beautiful cobalt. Now let's take a look at the mid-century glasses. And they are definitely well known for these vases. And you'll notice the base is a little bit different with each manufacturer. Some have a triple foot, some have hobnail base. And they were all made in the same era. But interestingly enough, most all of these do not have any kind of acid etch mark. There's no manufacturer's identification. They use paper labels or stickers. So you can basically identify them by color and style. And there are certainly indications. 
and they had great catalogs of their product lines in the early 60s. The swung vase is a great representation of mid-century glass. It definitely reminds me of a lot of the 1960s advertisements and home decor is something that is definitely coming back and you can find this on the secondary market. And many of these companies actually had their origins in the Victorian era. And over time, the companies were sold and they retooled to, of course, fit the times. And the post-war needed color, and this certainly replaced the Swedish modernist crystal. You may wonder how the swung vase got its name. It was made when the glass blower had his gather at the end of the blowpipe and using a special tool in a circular motion, it was swung to create this irregular form. And this fantastic vase is available in so many bold colors. Make sure you check your glass show or secondary market for this fantastic piece. Looks like a mid-century era federal glassware sign. This would have been in a store. It's a company that was founded in Columbus, Ohio in 1900, and at first they made bottles and jars, and then they evolved into glassware, barware, and unique items. And when you're looking for the logo, it's a letter F inside of a shield on the bottom of most glass items. This Madrid pitcher, $35 from about 1932. Love that square shape and the amber color. Great deal, and the flat tumbler. It's really interesting how they've adapted to the times and what was popular from the Hazel Atlas Company, the Florentine Tumbler. Love that green. And an old colony cookie jar for $95. Take the lid off and you got a rose bowl. Lots of great uses. And these items look to have a touch of chinoiserie. Just something about it. Let's look at that design. I see a pagoda. Or perhaps that's more of a garden area. Padden City. It's a cheese and cracker dish with a lid. A lovely twin set. And actually they are just a bit different. It's a gazebo. $250. Maybe it's the blue that made me think of chinoiserie. Stunning set and I would say quite rare. Love all the figures here. Wouldn't that add interest to a table centerpiece? Could create quite a story with these. And here's a relish dish, the three part from the 1930s. Such detail along the edging as well. And a tumbler. Mid-century glass is American made, great quality and style. And you will see the pops of color that maybe didn't exist in the 1930s. And this, of course, was influenced in the post-war era. By 1950, everything was colorful. And for example, the Viking Glass Company had over 30 colors, including the evergreen amber ebony persimmon was very popular. And if you're wondering what happened to Viking, they closed in 1984 and were purchased by Fostoria in the early 90s and closed for good in 1998. Mid-century was also a time to introduce the figural animals in colors such as evergreen. And we have many examples of these still today and great collectible. You can have all your ducks in a row and in every color too. These Viking ducks would also be great for a centerpiece or maybe a sideboard decor. $25 for the small Viking glass ducks. More showstoppers. This vendor has some great items. They asked what I thought this martini shaker might cost and I said 350, 3,750. It is quite rare. They have it in two colors and it is complete with the stopper and the ice guard. This dealer has a Heisey sale where they will mail to you anywhere in the United States. I will include them in the video description. You definitely want to reach out to them and get on their mailing list. And I believe they feature their sales on YouTube. So look in that video description for more information. Swans are graceful and also for any season. I'm partial to the green, but let's take a look at this ruby. From the Cambridge Glass Company, it is Carmen for $300, a six and a half inch swan. 
And even though it's on the small side, think about a floral display that would actually open it up and make it quite large, set that on top of a cake stand, give it some height. And the clear is really neat, $475 Cambridge, lovely. Here's a peek at the Heise logo, another great glass company. It's a diamond with the letter H. And now we get a close-up look at some Heise unexpected treasures. I love the vibrant colors. And again, think of how you could pair this with another color, whatever might be in your collection. And I always go back to the cobalt blue. It really pops. And that's a lovely set of six tumblers for $220. hi -Z is one of my favorite glass manufacturers and they were out of Ohio. And the logo you will find underneath is an H inside of a diamond. This is the Empress pattern in the marigold color, a set of six glasses. And there originally would have been a matching pitcher that you could have purchased. And this saucer champagne is in the tangerine color which was an experimental color that was not produced for mass market. This is $175 because it is rather rare. I quite like the tangerine shade. It's unfortunate that it was not offered to consumers. I think we certainly missed out not having that beautiful color. And I will certainly be looking for this color in a champagne or any other glass when I'm out thrifting. Remember to look for that logo, the H inside of the diamond. And now we're going to take a look at another vendor with lots of Victorian era treasures. And you know, during that time they had a serving piece, whether it's sterling or a vessel of some sort of crystal pressed glass, for every type of food, even a strawberry fork, scissors for cutting grapes at the table. And this is a pickle jar. 1890, it's a spiral pattern with Oneida silver plate, under 400, love that cranberry. And there's also a company called Hobbs Brookenier. And the hobnail's gorgeous too, isn't it? And this particular company that I'm going to show you, $445 from 1886, they actually were quite innovative and responsible for improving a formula of lime glass and enabled glassmakers to produce glass at a much lower cost. And this amber cake stand is quite stunning. I love how these are stacked, which adds a lot of interest and save space actually on your table. This six panel fine cut is from the 1870s. It's $125. And of course, a tip for stacking cake stands is to actually dip the base in almond bark that you've melted, and that way they adhere to the cake stand underneath if you're serving at a party. From 1876, a frosted circle for $125. And I'm just amazed that the dealers are able to identify all these items. They are quite the experts. This one's $85 from 1883. Can you imagine? That's certainly something you can't touch with a retail store, even online. Ivy in the Snow, $125. This is from 1898. And the Cobalt is $295. And I'm going to show you some detail on the base of one of these. Oh, the Garfield Drape is lovely at $175. This one actually piqued my interest. I like the fact that it's got deer. That's a bit unusual for a cake stand. And a rim at 195. This one would be a great centerpiece base because it doesn't take up as much visual space there. And it has a square base to it. Love this. I wish I had taken this home. That is quite the prize. And now Look at the hand. It is holding up this cake stand. Do you see the detail? I wish that we had some more of these in different colors. Isn't that just amazing? This cobalt is the best. And I bet they did manufacture it in various shades. Lots to show you here as well. 
Look how tall this hurricane lamp is. Perhaps this was placed on a mantle with a mirror behind it. And the etching is just amazing. If you lived back in 02, and that is 1902, you may or may not have had electricity. And Fastoria Glass Company made a fantastic piece for your table, perhaps even a hallway. And you notice this $150 hurricane is elongated, lots of detail, and it has been electrified. The dealer has restored it to its original condition, and here is this component if you wanted to plug it in. I think this is a fantastic standalone piece. Just as styles have evolved over the decades, also different uses were needed. And of course, this is not something that we have today in our homes, but it actually it can still be quite purposeful, especially living on the Texas Gulf Coast. We sometimes lose power when storms are approaching. Picture sets, lots to discover here. There's so much beauty in the glass show. I encourage you to look in your area and you may find that a lot of these dealers are going to be in your neck of the woods. They do travel all over the country. Stunning vase. The amber candle holders, somewhere statuesque. And the opalescent hobnail, what a great combination. These are practical, the handle, I've shared many uses over the years with this particular tidbit tray. And that's only $38. And it's Cambridge Decagon in the amber color. I have the pink Decagon in a tea set. I think I need to pull that out and entertain with it some more. These are also some older pieces. Let's take a closer look. That shade of blue is incredible. Finer than anything you can get on the market today. These are the dolphin candlesticks from the 1920s, $335. Just love it. The dolphin design you do see even with Linux, they have some pieces. Thousand Eye. You can tell this is really old and special from 1874. And this plate is $40. You're buying a piece of history. 125 for the covered butter made by Adams and Company. This would be a coveted shade even today. And the crew it set. $385. Beautiful cobalt and gold pitcher set. Some more hurricane lamps. Love the gold touches here. It would definitely fit with my decor. $645, Mount Washington Glass Company. Here's another look at that cobalt pitcher set. Exquisite. Leaf Medallion, it's from Northwood Glass Company. How about that? Beautiful, clear crystal, American Brilliant. Just love that pitcher. And pictures are heavy in American Brilliant. That's something to think about. $165, and look how it sparkles. This is the same dealer that has the high Z sale. And be sure to look in the video description. I will share as much as I can with you so you can connect with them on YouTube. $30, I like the shape of this, with that hob star in the center. Interesting with the American Brilliant. The thicker the glass, the deeper the cuts, which makes sense but you will see that it's more valuable when the glass is thicker and therefore it's a bit heavier. You can sometimes find these when you're out thrifting or maybe even at an antique shop consignment store and the price is right when you think about what goes into this. $5 for this glass. That's a steal. You could even use that for on the vanity. You could fill it with toothbrushes. You could use it for your mouthwash. So many possibilities with just one glass. $375, oh, look at the compote. It's so pretty, I think I'll have to take this one home. It's quite tall, $37.50. Yes, this one actually 
did go home with me. And I love compotes and I've shared different uses with you over the channel and I encourage you to take a look. Hawks, absolutely love hawks. I have some of their pieces. $25 for this dish. Can you imagine walking into a box store, $25 budget, you can't find anything nice like this. 165, loving that basket. It's a special piece. And the more cuts, of course, the more valuable it is. And these pictures are just fantastic. Would be a great vase as well. I'm always looking and learning and loving everything that I encounter. This is $20 and it has a nice thickness to it. And maybe this one needs to go home with me today too. From the Libby Glass Company. And there are hot and cold factories. The hot factories would have created the glass. The cold factories would have cut the glass. And this is something you found often turn of the century. $35. Here's one for $17.50. I think it has a crack in it, so it's priced to sell. Maybe just put some soaps in it. Or perhaps that was a different one. $30. Love the shape of this. You find some deals when you're out of the glass show, and then you find rare items. Delighted to have found American Brilliant cut glass for a deal. $20 for this dish. American Brilliant was made from 1875 to 1905. There were about 400 companies that would purchase the blanks from glass companies and make their own masterpieces. Thanks again for joining Lady Mary Beth. Elevate your everyday with beautiful glass.